Hello, good morning. It's Adil Fazal here, market analyst at CFDs.com, bringing you a review of the European markets for Wednesday's trading session, the 17th of May 2017. Please be sure to visit Trade Signal, signals and market updates from leading providers at www.tradesignal.com. You can certainly download the app at the uh, Google Play and the Apple App Store. Okay. In terms of uh, CFDs.com, be sure to uh, certainly uh, open up a trading account there and certainly uh, take advantage of that uh, very generous bonus for opening the account. Uh, and be sure to email me. I'll certainly get that applied for you. Okay, now in terms of the markets themselves, the FTSE at present is more or less flat, even though we have had uh, job data coming coming in stronger than expected in terms of the unemployment rate, but the wage growth is what counts, okay? And, and wage growth certainly stalling. Wage growth falls behind inflation for the first time since 2014, despite unemployment rate sinking to a 42-year low. So uh, we're certainly getting jobs, but the quality of jobs are not there, and that certainly isn't good for the economy, let's put it that way. In terms of the German DAX, uh, and also obviously the consumption either. German, German DAX at present is uh, currently negative, and that's due to the uh, fact that the euro, euro is certainly rallying very strong at present. Uh, certainly some faith in tapering or potential rate hikes uh, in terms of the inflation numbers. Let's look at the euro USD. You can see now we were certainly uh, we've thrust higher up to 1.10. Uh, uh, so impressive rally, uh, certainly to, to say the least. Okay, now in terms of the, uh, the market itself, the French CAC down 20 points, the FTSE MIB, IBEX all down. That certainly was triggered by uh, the uh, Comey controversy and the Trump controversy overnight. So certainly, uh, that certainly seems to be dictating uh, proceedings at present. Okay, we had the uh, Comey controversy and the uh, Trump controversy. Okay, so certainly uh, Trump controversy, uh, Mr. Comey controversy certainly uh, leaking overnight and causing the S&P 500 to fall down uh, and gap down 15 handles. We have a sell-off in the S&P 500. Now that was uh, triggered due to the fact that uh, uh, Mr. Comey said that he had a uh, he certainly made memos of after every announcement, and he was asked by Mr. Trump to uh, actually lay off Mr. Flynn, and that certainly isn't good news, and that indicates obstruction of justice, and therefore that's sufficient enough evidence to uh, impeach Donald Trump. Okay, and hence the reason why markets have turned negative because the uh, Trump trade certainly is in, uh, in jeopardy now. Okay, so. Uh, that certainly remains the status quo in terms of economic data this morning really other than the uh, uk uh, job growth and inflation numbers uh, or should we say real wage numbers we have had uh, eurozone cpi coming in more or less in line at 1.9 percent closer to two percent target which obviously indicates tapering and potential rate hikes and hawkish uh, uh, drug in terms of the uh, construction output certainly coming in well, weaker than expected minus 1.1 percent uh, we have had mortgage approvals out certainly on the weaker side as well just now okay and that certainly is uh, dictating sentiment too. Uh, in terms of the market, let's look at the actual uh, technicals now because we are expecting a risk-off session given the fact that US markets are down, Asian markets certainly down overnight as well. Uh, the uh, the Nikkei down um, almost 100 points. The uh, the Hang Seng and the Shanghai both down 0.2 percent. Okay, so let's look at the actual German DAX now. Let's see where we stand. Okay, on the daily chart, certainly a flush, especially after yesterday's bearish candles. Okay, so you had a uh, uh, a potential hanging man uh, candle and a topping tail candle so again certainly negative okay we have bounced from the uh, subsequent low now the 60 minute chart to me certainly looks like it wants to carve out some type of H&S formation so keep an eye on that or provided we make a lower high so the bias really is in the markets making a lower high so let's just look at the pivot high here take it to the pivot low okay and now looking at a, a potential uh, reversal here so uh, you're looking at the left shoulder here, okay, the head obviously has gone in, uh, looking for a potential right shoulder, then looking for a flush lower. So certainly look for some weakness, given the fact that we have unfilled gap below at uh, 13,530. So watch out below. 10-minute chart on the German DAX at the moment certainly seem to be oscillating around this support zone and this resistance zone. You have unfilled gap above at 12,805. There's no catalyst at present that will obviously close that gap. Therefore, one would expect the the price action on German DAX certainly to start to move lower, especially with the hawkish rhetoric coming out of the German uh, contingent. So again, look for further weakness in the German DAX. In terms of French CAC at the moment, daily chart itself was already weak. You had a bear flag formation, so we are looking for a potential flush with the unfilled gap below. 60-minute chart still making lower uh, highs. Uh, you've made a lower low, but certainly looking to make a lower low. We've hit a low of 5365 on the lot on the downside, 
and again like I said you have Gatfield below at 5300 and this is a perfect opportunity especially given the fact that the euro USD now is uh, obviously at the 1.11 level and that certainly is hurting the export side of the equation so certainly take that on board as well in terms of the 60 minute chart on the French CAC let's just have a look here again like I said looking we've made a lower high now looking to make a lower low and with the euro, stronger euro certainly hurting export side of the equation Okay, so again, looking for a flush lower down to 5375, potentially to the pivot low of the day, 5365, and then we'll assess the situation from there. Unfilled gap will remain, given the fact that uh, you have ongoing concerns with regards to uh, Mr. Trump and whether he remains in power. Okay, so any threat to his power and obviously threat to the, uh, the actual QE trade, okay, certainly is risk negative, so bear that in mind. In terms of the FTSE 100 now, again, looking for further weakness given the real wage growth certainly is on the decline. We are looking to flush on the FTSE 100 down to 7,500. Okay, so FTSE 100 certainly looking to move south here, uh, potentially test 7,500 on the 10 minute chart. 60 minute chart still remains weak, so we're certainly looking for some hot air to be released at the FTSE given the uh, recent uh, stellar rally on the FTSE. Okay, so again, weaker wage growth certainly being the uh, main argument here. Potential 7480 test here. Um, you have 7460 below, so 7480, 7460 watch out below. Daily chart, again, the breakout may well be tested at 7450. So certainly uh, an impressive flush is uh, long, long overdue on the uh, FTSE 100, and that's what I expect to uh, to occur as well, okay? In terms of the Euro stocks, let's just bring up the Euro stocks for you. Okay, Euro stocks in the daily chart first and foremost. We are looking at a potential bear flag scenario. We do have an unfilled gap at 3587, so watch out below. 60 minute chart again, lagging, no higher high, looking for a lower high, and now looking for a lower low. Uh, the, the support will be tested at 3610. Let's see if that can hold. Once that cracks, then it opens up the way towards that gap fill at 3585. So watch out below in terms of the uh, euro stocks okay 10 minute chart at the moment we're still making lower lows lower highs that certainly remains the dominant theme or predominant theme okay looking to potentially retest the pivot low of the day which is at 3616 uh, if we break that then the next support is at 3605 so let's see how the markets play out this morning there is a potential key support at 3620 as well so let's see how we unfold the unfilled gap remains at 3640 for now okay on that note, please be sure to visit cfds.com and certainly visit uh, TradeSignal for your signals and market updates from leading providers. Goodbye now.